Dear viewers, welcome back in today's lesson. Our today's topic is praise and class. Praise and classes are two important terms in English grammar. They are parts of a sentence. Okay, now look at the example here. Here we have a sentence. In the sentence, we have two parts. He is playing in the field. The first part is he is playing and the second part is in the field. Okay. Uh, the first part, in the first part, uh, we can see that we have a subject. Okay. He. And we have verb. But in the second part, there is no subject and no verb. So, can you uh, tell me what are these two parts called? Okay. I'm giving you a hint. The first part is called class and the second part is called praise. Why? Why the first part is called class? And why the second part is called praise? Can you guess? Okay, actually, uh, in the first part, we have both subject and verb. But in the second part, we have no subject, no verb. So, if there is in a class, we have a subject and a verb. And in a phrase, we have no subject and no verb. So, what we have discussed so far, we can understand that both sub clause and phrase are part of sentence and that is the similarity. So, in phrase and clauses, we have similarity and at the same time, we have dissimilarity. What is the similarity? The similarity is that both are part of a sentence, phrase and clause both are part of a sentence. And what is the dissimilarity? The dissimilarity is that a clause has subject and verb, okay? But a phrase has no subject and no verb. So, uh, between uh, phrase and clause, we have similarity and we have dissimilarity. Now, let us come to the definition of praise. So def the definition would be like that. A praise is a part of a sentence, okay? It is a part of a sentence having no subject and no verb. Okay, let us know the types of praises, okay? There are different types of praises main five kinds of phrases are noun praise verb praise adjective praise adverb praise and prepositional praise there are some other types of uh, praises also okay they are jiran praise infinitive praise appositive praise and participial praise but our today's topic is uh, on praise and class just to identify what is praise and what is class so in our next lesson we will discuss these praises student praise infinitive praise appositive praise participial praise etc okay now let us come to class okay uh, a little bit ago we uh, came to know that a class has a subject and a verb. There are two types of classes. One is principal or independent class and another is subordinate or dependent class. Okay. Identifying class. Okay, now please you look at the sentence here. When the man broke into the house, the dog barked at him it's a sentence in this sentence we have two part okay 
when the man broke into the house this is one part and the dog barked at him that is another part in both this part we have subject and verb in the first part the man is the subject and broke is the verb in the second part the dog is the subject and part is the verb so both these parts are called clauses now as you know earlier that clauses are of two types one is principal clause and another is subordinate clause okay now this is a clause that is also a clause this part cannot express its meaning cannot stand alone when the man broke into the house if you say when the man broke into the house actually it cannot express the whole meaning it cannot stand alone so this is called subordinate clause on the other hand the dog barked at him this clause can easily express the meaning okay so this part is called principal clause so uh, from this example we can easily come to the definition the definition of principal clause is that it can stand alone okay it can stand alone they do have a subject and verb and express a complete thought that means principal clause uh, can express its meaning on the other hand in subordinate clause actually it cannot stand alone they do have subject and verb but they do not express a complete thought but they cannot express their thought so what is the difference between principal and subordinate clause the difference is that one can stand alone another cannot stand alone one can express a complete thought and another cannot express a complete thought now let us judge yourself okay now i have given you some examples here of sentences uh, sorry uh, of uh, phrases or clauses now you have to identify whether this one is phrase or class phrase or class okay now please you just pause the video for uh, a minute or two minutes and then you judge yourself okay now let us go to the answer he ran what have you written is it principal class or subordinate class he ran it can express its meaning it can stand alone so it's a principal class because i woke up in the morning subordinate class it because it cannot express its meaning i was late to work it can express its meaning so it's a principal class when he arrived in the class subordinate class he ran first can express its meaning this is the principal class okay uh, that was our today's topic uh, so uh, as a well, whole if we uh, summarize the whole thing we can say that actually phrase and clause are both two important terms in english grammar they are part of sentence a phrase has no subject no verb on the other hand a clause has a subject and a finite verb there are many types of phrases uh, clauses are of only two types one is principal and another is subordinate clause principal clause can stand alone and express thought on the other hand subordinate clause cannot stand alone and it cannot express its thought okay uh, that, that was our uh, today's lesson uh, have a nice time see you again goodbye